Hey guys, welcome to a Boys and Bears with tuberculosis, chlamydia, and hepatitis. I'm tuberculosis. Am I, am I chlamydia? Yes. Fuck. Uh, I'm chlamydia, I guess. And, and, <laughs> and today we're joined with hepatitis. That was... the fucking animal is going to introduce me. I'm not going to introduce myself on your podcast. That was, that was my joke. That was it's that was Sean. It. it's Sean. We have Sean. It's Sean. I'm Our good here. Pal Sean. It's him. It's the man that makes oh. a legend. Crazy. Um, so it's crazy that we're recording this right now. Cause guess what's going on? The Game Awards. You know. Those things. And Last of uh, Us is sweeping at the like moment. The, Game Awards. the Last of Us Part Two is sweeping. Oh, yeah. I think from when I got off, they had, like, six awards. God damn. Okay. When you think about The Last of Us, what is the first complaint you think about for the sequel? It's bad. <laughs> okay, yes, but... Uh, I keep hearing people say they fucking hate the plot of The Last yeah, of Us. Yeah, the plot is bad. The Last of Us won Best Narrative. No. No. What? Dude, at the end of it, she went, I'm gonna kill him. And then went, no. I'm going to kill her? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Every time I see anything from The Last of Us, I keep going, uh, what is this? The original Life is Strange? I'm just saying, what other games? I spilled root beer on myself. <laughs> also, welcome back. Uh, episode 1, Maxwell. Episode 1. Oh. Buddy, your your mic your mic shit itself again. He's gone. He's entered the space void. Here, let's see if he comes back. Hello. There he is. There he is. Hello there. You. Give me give me one second. Discord's be Discord's doing a poopy shit, doing a little poopy shit, man. Is everyone for the game awards on Discord at the moment? No. Yeah, I mean, yes, I think that's how they're doing it, because they've got them all there, like, through camera, because uh, they can't be there in person. But I was referring to the fact that people watching the Game Awards are probably in calls with other people watching the Game Awards. Got it. Got it, got it. Um, I assume. I, obviously, I'm not the Game Awards statistician. So many things have happened. Not. So, Cyberpunk 2077 oh. came out. Also, I was gonna. I would. I would like to say, I. I know what you're thinking. You guys said you recorded it on Wednesday. How are the game awards happening? Um, my computer ate shit and died yesterday, and we had to fix it. So, it's Thursday. Wait, That's why we're recording on a Thursday. But Cyberpunk 2077's out. Cyberpunk 2077's out. Oh my god, it's such a good game. I've been playing so much of it. I got eight hours in, and they went, all right, now you're done with the prologue. And I was like, Are you, what? I'm, so I have a feeling if cool. the prologue is eight hours, this is going to be long. Like, long. I've made, I customized my wiener. <laughs> I'm noticing a lot of games do that. Uh, yeah. Where recently they've just been like, all right, guys, our new AAA hit classic. Get ready for the first 17 hours before you get to the real game. King Red Redemption 2. Yeah, that's it. We're talking about Maxwell, so I'm willing to bet at least five of those eight hours were him making his character. No, no, no. I mean, I made my character, and then one o'clock rolled around. And then I stayed up until five, and then I played some today. Oh, wow. I went to bed at five in the morning. That's dedication. And I didn't eat a can of creamed corn this time. That's good. That's good. That's progress. Uh, no cream corn. I'm having withdrawals. My skin itches. From um, your cream corn? I'm, I want to punch women and babies. I. It's really having some really negative effects on me. Your I, lack of cream corn or not being able to play cyberpunk? Context, Connor. Cream Creamed corn. corn. What the fuck? What? I'm just saying, when's the last time you ate a can of cream corn? Exactly. 
Oh, That's see, no, I get, I get it now. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, boys. <laughs> and I bears. get it now. Really power sliding in with this comedy. He said... I said that roll the credits. We're done. <laughs> roll we're, we're done. We we it right now. He, he said the thing. It's god. like in Shark Boy and Lava Girl when they're like, I'm Shark Boy. And she's like, I'm Lava Girl. And you're like, They said the thing, Shark Boy. <laughs> and the movie ended, ended right now. Oh god. In the movie, aren't they remaking Shark Boy and Lava Girl? I no, it's a sequel. It's a sequel. They have I've, babies. I've been told that Shark Boy really took the L. Yuck. Shark Boy, uh. Details. Apparently, he do be looking like he got hit with a golf club. I'm saying. Is it not? Is it not the same actor? Just grown up. Now? I don't think it's Taylor Lautner. No. Why would you not just Taylor Lautner? I don't. I don't know why do you they... think they're gonna age up? Do you think they'll get George Lopez to come back, reprise his role of Big TV Man and Angry Teacher? And Angry Teacher? Well, I I'd hope so. He is. Do you think he's gonna be Max's the... love interest? Is that the kid's name? Yep, it's Max. That's, oh, that's my name. Roll credits. We're done. We finished. He's he's yeah. he's Max's love interest's dad. He's not Max's love interest. <laughs> no, he no. is. No, you he's didn't not. Get the chemistry. No. no. <laughs> How much, you, let me ask you a question, how many lines of dialogue did Max have to George Lopez's daughter as opposed to George Lord, uh, George, George Lorpez, his name? <laughs> yes, George Lorpez. <laughs> um, it's, it's George from, from Curious George, Lord the singer, George from, and then a Pez dispenser. From, <laughs> George Lord I'm Pez. They're in a they're in a trench coat, but the Pez dispenser is on top. Cause yeah. It's a Pez dispenser, George Lopez. Mm. Yeah. I, my favorite thing about Pez dispensers is that they never they don't separate at the mouth, which I think that'd be awesome. It's always like the neck. It's like it's yeah, like it's, <laughs> it's like it's like it's like, 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 a, it's like uh, smokers when they have the vocal thing put in and they're like, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I've the Pez always dispenser comes up like it's a character from Until Dawn. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that game. I'm, my favorite part. Play... Yep. Uh, no, you go ahead, because I'm about to segue. Oh. Um <laughs> Can't wait, before before we before I say what I was gonna say, did you know that the inventor of the segue was trying to show off how like good it was at stopping and then drove it off a cliff and died? <laughs> That's a right. real fact. I didn't laugh because that wasn't fun. A man you, died. No copy you, there. You fucking... I, that is so incredibly funny to me. He was like... He got a crowd of people and was like, I'm going to show you guys how good this thing is at breaking. And then just went... Hey, y'all, watch this. Off the cliff. <laughs> now I can't remember what... Oh, my favorite thing in Until Dawn is the scene where the shitty bitchy girl gets pulled through... The not Jess. a human sized window. Jess gets fucking. She's like yeah, drips she's through. Like, it zooms in on her face and she goes, ah! And then <laughs> sucks her through. That was so... Pulls her through the whole window. That was um, such an accurate. Pulls her in half like a chair. <laughs> that was she so... gets fucking lawn chaired. Um, that was so fucking wanna... accurate. <laughs> First thing I get when I get paid, I want to get the newest supermassive game, uh, Little Hope, and then we got to come over and play it. Isn't that- aren't they doing them now where you can do, like, multiplayer shit? Yeah, yeah, that's what- that's what they're about. I want to play the multiplayer one. Together. Oh my god. Um, I have the first one, and Connor's never played the first one, so I'd like to do that, too. I've played Man of Medan. Uh, you have? Yeah. Well, damn, that's the one... Connor just fucked up my whole plan. I mean, I'll still play it again. I don't remember literally anything Man about it, Man of Medan but... was so... Ugh. I- I was thinking about, um... When I was, whenever I think about super massive games, Until Dawn, uh, the Dark Pictures games, I always think of this one specific thing. Modern Warfare. No. Because it's, it's a super massive um, game. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say hi. I was gonna. I thought you were going for hijack. I thought you were making a hijack reference. Nah. Oh. Um, but okay, hear me out. That was good. Um. There's this thing that like I can't watch. If you've if you've ever played like the Telltale games, I can I can watch the Telltale characters die and not feel any. 
Yeah. Yeah, because it's like... When a character dies in Until Dawn, or like one of the super massive games, I fucking shit myself. Because it's brutal. Yeah. When people die in, um, in like, The Walking Dead, it's like, Oh shit, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, the Ben one's pretty bad, but besides Ben, it's always like, oh man! Wait, is Ben the one that gets run friends? over by, like, the lawnmower or something? No, he they, he falls off, like, a balcony and lands with a pipe. Oh. Out of his I was thinking, like, a, it's, like, one of the first big choices in, like, one yeah, of... Yeah, uh, the one guy gets the lawnmower driven on his leg. Oh, I thought I thought it was, like, his whole God. everything. Hey, guys, no, you like my rusty blades? And then they eat him. My rusty blades. Um. But yeah, when it's when it's a super massive game, I'm always like freaking out because you're like, the deaths are like, they've got like a weight to them. Like when an Until Dawn character dies, yeah, like you can feel it. It's like guttural. Yeah. When a Walking Dead character dies, it's like hitting your favorite baseball. Yeah, you're like, ha ha, die, stupid. Nailed it. Yes. Wow. Um, my favorite baseball. I love this baseball. This specific one. Yeah. That's the. Uh, I hit absolute bombs with like this a baseball. bowling ball and is a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> so has has Call of Duty been nominated for literally any awards tonight? Um, mostly just Warzone has been nominated for the multiplayer ones, but hasn't won any. Good. The multiplayer. Games are exclusively going to Fall Guys, except that Among Us actually won best multiplayer game. Nice, good job. Um, apparently we're also revealing a new map, but Among Us is like, I'm, I'm so checked out on Among Us. I played it one time and never was invited again. Oh, nice. <laughs> I have not, I've not gotten the group together again. I paid for it, and I've not opened the game yet. I paid for it for Maxwell. Yep. I have not opened the game. Well, so, I don't work tomorrow. <laughs> I don't work tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. But, uh, um, so I think if Cyberpunk is as good as it's been hyped up to be, which it sounds like it is, I'm pretty sure when next year's Game Awards roll around, it's going to sweep. Will it, will it count for next year's Game Awards? Are they game award to game award, or are they New Year's to New Year's? I think it's game award to game award. That's what I would think. All right, Connor, so did you hear about the Smash Brothers reveal? No, what happened? Can as I say soon it? as the game award started, they revealed a new character for Smash. Can I reveal him? Can I do it? Oh, you go for it. <laughs> it's... Hit me, hit me. Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. It's... it's... Fucking Sephiroth just rolls in and is like, I'm gonna kill everybody. And then he does. I'm not joking. I think that <laughs> I I think he could take everybody who is not Palatina. Not true. No, I think who do you think could kick Sephiroth's ass? Ganondorf? I, I think, Toon Link, 100%. Uh, no. Ganondorf gets his ass kicked by children. Um, controversial idea, the Earthbound Boys. Uh, they kill God, so... Oh, then, yeah. Dude, controversial, uh, the, the eggplant him. from Ice Climbers. Yo, you've got them there. Um, obviously... You ever seen Sephiroth beat up an eggplant? No. I don't to think so. Fair, uh, there's always gonna be one character in the roster, regardless, who can beat Sephiroth, and it's the guy who canonically beats Sephiroth. Yeah. Eggplant from Ice Climbers. Yeah. Eggplant from Ice Climbers. And Toon Link. Um, yeah, and Olimar from Pikmin. Mm. Only when and, their power is combined. And, and sometimes Pikmin Ink from Pikmin. Yeah, and sometimes Inkling. Sometimes. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not Inkling. Octoling, Not Inkling? yes. Inkling, no. Inkling oh, okay. can do it. Okay, got it. Octoling can. It's, it's very close stuff. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Can we take a second to... I, I don't think I've showed this on podcast. Look at this. This picture. Aww, Maxwell drew. I, I drew I it. Look at that. Mine is still hanging in my room back at the dorm. So fucking Aww. dope. I need to get a I left frame room. for it. But I, I as, as of right now, I just keep it on my desk. 
So podcast burp. <laughs> oh my god. Maxwell's nothing. Maxwell and Ruby are gonna get just like ten thousand commissions here in the next like week. Every time I'm actually I make... kind of hyped to make a Kingdom Hearts keyblade. Oh shit, I forgot I was gonna commission the Kingdom Hearts keyblade. I'll warn you, I am better at making objects than I am drawing. Okay, well, I'm looking for, uh, cause I was making, I wanna work, I wanna get like a good RPG maker game out. Like I wanna make something with quality standard. Yeah. Um, and that means that I need like the characters and the enemies done. I was gonna have Dion, I'm helping Dion get ready to work on the music for it. All right, so um, in case you animals are not following my girlfriend who is really good at art, her Instagram is ruby uh, dot art like ruby period art. Um, in case you're deaf and dumb, it is r u b y. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a good thing I'm spelling it. It's r u b y c dot art because her last name. That's my girlfriend. She's a really good artist. Go support her. Um, except for that one post that is the time she drew a cat girl in reference to that time when she was in seventh grade and drew a cat girl. Don't like that post. Cause she's like mad. We appreciate cat girls. Um, funny enough, that post has such an incredible amount of likes compared to her other ones for no reason. Other than I guess, because it's a cat girl. People appreciate cat girls. That people do appreciate that uh, heavily. Why, Why do you, you think Razor made the. A cat girl. Yeah. Um, she's, she's really cool. Go check her out. I like her quite a bit. I would hope. I intend to commission Ruby to draw me several cat girls soon, so. And she'll do each of them to the best of her ability. With love. Um, can I just say? Go ahead. Yeah. Can I? Can yeah. I say? Yeah, go ahead. Say. Star Wars time with Maxwell. Okay. Let's Because I said so. Turn my fan on, it's fucking hot. First of all, I made a Mandalorian oh, helmet. It's not done yet. I still need to work on it, but I have the... F Look, it's like I'm holding it. And I have a Grogu. He has a Grogu! Oh my god! Second. I would sooner spontaneously explode than own Star Wars merchandise. Look at it. Second of all, it is as of... Today. I would say about... A couple hours ago, confirmed that Hayden Christensen will be reprising his role as Darth Vader in the upcoming Kenobi uh, 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 show. How exciting is that? Really? That's going to be really sick. Do you, do you know what else was confirmed? What? Ahsoka got her own series also. That we're also getting live action Ahsoka show. Which means Ezra's storyline is definitely alive. With Ezra Bridger! Ah! Cheer me out. Yes. That is the weird colored girl from yep. Clone right? Yes, yes. Is she a cat girl? No. No. Those I are... I recall distinctly thinking she was when I was seven. Probably because she... she has points, but those are like tendrils. Yeah. Is she? She's Leku? not. I think they're called Leku. Yeah, I was like, she's not a Twi'lek, but she's like some. That's not her race. The her yeah. thing is called you, Leku. You built up the Star Wars oh. fan base with the Star Wars episode, and now I'm here to knock it all down by having zero education and pissing off every one of them. Awesome. Yeah. Um. What else do I have to talk about? Um. Fucking Boba Fett in the last episode, dude. So fucking cool, dude. So cool. Why is he so cool, man? He came out and he was like, he shot his rocket, and the man was like, nice shot. And Boba Fett's like, I was aiming for the other one. And it's I like, think ah I really liked seeing, like, when he was using his staff with seeing the helm, like, stormtrooper helmets, like, oh, yeah, shatter. Oh, stormtrooper helmets, like, shattering. Those, Those guys are fucking dead. <laughs> Um, and then they just straight up space kidnap Grogu. I think that's a crime. I feel like it. I mean, kidnapping is a crime in general, but I mean, space kidnapping probably. Oh also yeah, space is. kidnapping is a different crime. <laughs> D different They're not tried the same. No, I like to believe they are two separate crimes, but you get both if you space kidnap. 
you both are arrested for kidnapping and space kidnapping. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that makes I mean, sense. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, God, I'm so excited for tomorrow, which is when we upload this. Wait, what episode were we on last time? Six? Like, for Mando? Yes, we're going on to seven. We're going on to seven. Wow. We only have two more. We have two more I this season. Didn't Maybe. I thought you were saying the podcast was getting uploaded, and then Connor looked shocked because the podcast was not ready to be uploaded. <laughs> yeah, of course not. We're recording it. <laughs> Come on. It's crazy because, like, for you guys, you're, you're, like, seeing or listening, but, like, for me, I'm sitting at my desk, and, like, I can see my <laughs> desk and everything else in my room, but you guys can't. All you see is what you see, but there's other stuff, and you don't you don't see that. You don't get that. And I just think that's weird. Like, think about that. When... Can, that be, can that be the quote? Can we make that the quote for the week? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just like, don't laugh at me. Quote, I just think that's crazy. Like, it? when you watch like a YouTube video or something, it's like you only see what the camera lets you see. Yeah. It's like it gives you a fucking shithole behind that camera and you wouldn't know. Right? That's, I feel like I that's know. the point. It's and like, it's like I, I don't know I don't know where he's coming from with this. Then it's like you see the uploaded version you know, actually, of something. You make a very, you make a very affirmative point, because my camera right now, all you see is this. What you don't see is this. This mess. It's a nightmare in here. Well now But we... you wouldn't know that. They wouldn't know. They could probably tell because I look like a neckbeard, but they can't see I... the Cheeto powder all over my everything. And Mountain my... Dew slime. Yeah, the Mountain Dew slime. I drink Sean, apple soda. Sean, what are the odds you make Mountain Dew slime and then you make a like a video like a slime YouTuber, but you're just being a how many, dick? How many... Uh, what is the current follower count for this channel? 22. Two. I was going to say 22. 50. We hit 50 followers special. I'll put it on the YouTube channel. In two years. We, no. In two um, years. Microsoft but, Flight but, Simulator won strategy game of yeah, the year. Won, it won strategy sim game of the year, which I thought was fucking awesome. Yeah. I guess, yeah, but what? They blew their load, load really early with Sephiroth. Sephiroth is the only important thing. Hades won action game. This is crazy. We're getting live... Live... Con... Not content, but stuff. Update? Yeah, live updates. Did That's Hades what I was looking for. Action game? Yeah, it did. I got really excited about that. Game of the Year, your nominees for Game of the Year. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Animal Crossing, The Last of Us Part Two, Doom Eternal, Hades, and Ghost of Tsushima. I like to see Hades on there. Let's go Final Fantasy Seven. Let's go! Imagine if Animal Crossing wins. Animal Crossing was nominated for Best Multiplayer Game of the Year. Um, Why? I don't know. I don't feel like that should count. I don't feel like having multiplayer should be the qualifier for being multiplayer game of the year. Especially when your multiplayer pretty much always makes the game worse. Yeah, it's like if Raid Shadow Legends got multiplayer game of the year. Yeah, because Like a Dragon got nominated for role-playing game of the year. I, I was really excited to see that. I plan on getting that game in a couple weeks. I gotta finish Yakuza's 2 through 6, though. This is crazy. Um, I'm really excited, though, because the guy, the main character from Yakuza Like a Dragon, has big, stupid hair, uses a bat, uh, and has, a, I, think it's, I think it's like a reddish-pink jacket. He so looks really me. cool. He's just me. If you had um, a, red, a, a, a pink jacket. Uh, God, I wish. Yeah. And we're a, a sexy Yakuza. I don't think he's a Yakuza. He sure is sexy, though. Oh, yeah. Definitely not the worst character I've ever seen. IBSP sponsor Maxwell. While you're at it, uh, Moon Debt also sponsor Maxwell. 
You can't sponsor me, so sponsor him. No, I, Maxwell has loyalties. <laughs> he has loyalties. Kai BC. That's fine. I'm not sponsoring him for him. They're sponsoring him for me. Oh, okay. I'm mad because, like, soda companies don't sponsor, like, YouTubers. Yeah. It's like, Pepsi's like, Kendall Jenner? Kendall or Kylie? Kendall. One of them. Kendall. It was Kendall. That was a really rough Oh, yeah, because the meme where it was like, Kendall and ends racism. Well, I'd like to speak. I just want to talk to the CEO of racism. I just want to <laughs> talk. talk. That... He's in the Thrasher hoodie. Let's see, we found him. I don't, I don't think, think we can just say that. <laughs> Maybe we can't just, like, say that, you know. <laughs> Who's going to stop it? Because I'm not, not I'm CEO not, racism. I'm not the CEO, I promise. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, he's just the uh, corporate advisor. He's the receptionist. No, I don't, I don't work Who's for the boss? company. I don't, I promise. Connor's I, the receptionist I, of racism. No, I'm not. I don't work for the company. Um... Hey, can you buzz me into the CEO of racism? I'd like to have a word with him. Jeez, Connor. fine, yeah, okay. Connor, we need to have a word with the, word with the C CEO of racism if you could make an appointment for us. Boss, I have two down here for you. Yeah, I'll send them up. It's gonna be the third door to your right. <laughs> Alright, I'm just here to I'm just here to read his uh I'm just here to read his tarot. Oh, can we get yeah, a tarot card oh. reading? Can we get a tarot card reading from Sean? Live on the podcast, yeah. live yeah. podcast tarot card reading. I've never even had this done three before. Times. Unbelievable! I didn't even know three you put times. Death three times in a tarot card deck. Unbelievable! I guess we have to kill him right now. We have to kill his guy. Racism. Gosh! Oh, only what? if I knew who that was. Um, I could, I could do a reading. Um, there is a problem with that though. What? I don't know where I put my little cheat sheet that tells me what the cards mean. And that's like, that's a pretty big part of the operation is being able to read the tarot. That's fine. Um, if you want, I can give your tarot and then you guys can guess <laughs> what the tarot is telling you. Let's do that. Foodie pebbles. <laughs> Shuffling the power. Who wants to go first? Sure. This is going to be a very, like, visually inclined <laughs> bit. Because I'm going to have to show you the cards. We'll describe them. Yeah, we're getting a... Uh, on Dude, that air. Dude, just uploaded. Cyberpunk 2077 Samurai Cola Chug. <laughs> what? Loyalty. See, Maxwell has loyalties. Badlands, Chugs, and IBC Root Beer. The king? <laughs> and the god. Alright, alright. Who wants Has to the first? king chugged the god? Maybe... Maybe, maybe you need maybe. to make some comments. Be like IBC root beer question mark. IBC root beer chug. You guys have a do you guys have a Twitter? I have a Twitter. Why don't we I have a Twitter? At, I can't plug at boys and bears to IBC if there's no Twitter. So someone's gonna have to get on that. I'll make a Twitter. Yeah. I can make a Twitter. Hashtag, uh, hashtag, boys and bears, boys and berry soda. Boysenberry root beer. Uh, I don't know if I want berry root beer. I don't know. Wait. I mean, it's, it's uh, how far is that from just berry cream soda? Before we get into this tarot card reading, bear flavored soda. What is uh, Sean? Sean has. Ooh, that sounds good. That does sound good. But Sean has had the. When you go to some fast food restaurants and stuff, they have, like, signature sodas. Yeah, like, all right. So I'm – let me run you through the ropes here. I am – I've become very notorious for yeah. my path to try as many signature flavors of soda, mainly through Mountain Dew, but beyond that. Um, so I've become kind of the, the soda man. So um, I've been going around. I've been experimenting. So, so far, what's the best one? Oh, fuck. I'm – Obviously, that's very opinion based. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, to you. My favorite is you go to the KFC, and you get the Mountain Dew Sweet. I think it's Sweet Lightning. And the Sweet Lightning is their Honey Peach Mountain Dew. Ooh. 
It tastes just it, like peach it, rings. It, it, yeah, it tastes like eating a peach ring. Um, very right. close though. The the cool melon, uh, frostbite you can only get at Walmart. Good to know. I think that's local. I've not found that in out of state WalMarts yet. Huh. I think that might be a local Walmart only. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. I like Baja um, Blast. The Baja Blast is all right. Um, it's a little underwhelming, though, because it's it's not too far off their first one. It's not too far off from the regular Mountain Dew. I think it is. Um, My favorite thing yeah. about root beer is that if you don't drink all of it, as soon as you open it, there's no carbonation. Yeah, it goes bad instantly. Um, I've had um, a root beer. Ever, like, also, you guys ever have like a parent? Soda flavor. You ever have like a uh, like a parent that smokes, and then you're like, "Oh, dude, soda!" And you pick up the can and then take a nice fat chug of it after they've used it as a makeshift ashtray and oh, get a yeah. mouthful of nicotine slime. Real hell, just take a whole butt in your <clears> mouth. <throat> That's about that, that is the auditory equivalent of what it tastes like. That happened... Uh, <clears throat> um... It happened to me one time, and it was like, it had sat for a while, and the nicotine had, like, reacted with the coke, and it literally turned into a gelatinous... gross. And it... Pause. Maybe we, maybe we skip this story time. And it went into... <laughs> and it went into my... You're killing Connor. My five-year-old <laughs> gullet, and then I just projectile vomited all over the fucking carpet. <laughs> <laughs> gross. It's fucking grody. What's gross is fucking smokers being like, oh yeah, I'll put my cigarette God. there. That was the story equivalent of playing Smash Brothers with Aiden. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna watch us and be like, oh, you come just, on. You just verbally, you just verbally uh, edge canceled my Smash attack. God I damn. Um, my dad had that happen. He was at a bar with with his dad when he was a kid, and he had a glass bottle. St- coca-cola and he sat it down on a table and some dude was like oh shit dude free real estate and just started dipping his his his, 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 his yeah he ashed his fucking lit. soda and my dad was like nothing wrong here all right two things one if your dad's drinking if it's a glass bottle your dad should not be caught in the act of drinking the ash soda but two I thought you were about to tell the story about how someone edge canceled your dad. That's also what I thought. <laughs> he said, "He said that's like the equivalent of getting edge canceled and smashed." And you said, "My dad, that happened to my dad once." My like, dad broke a pool cue over someone's head. My really, dad was a professional bar fighter before he was a dad. As you do. Um. All right. Yeah. I keep was a dad. Stories <laughs> beyond uh, the pool cue of my dad fighting. Of your dad. Oh, dude, do I get to tell a story of my dad laying whoop ass on the podcast? Yeah, dad, if you're too. watching this, man, dude. Um, yeah. <laughs> so my dad was at this bar with my mom. My mom was singing karaoke like you do in the '80s. I mean, yeah. people still do that sometimes. Wait. 14, maybe late 80s. That no, god, no, mid 90s. Sorry, mid 90s. <laughs> Singing karaoke that. like you do in the mid 90s. <laughs> and dude's like, dude, my balls. That's not what he says. I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> <laughs> He says something grotesque to my mother involving his balls. And my dad's like, hey man, that's my wife. And the dude grabs a beer bottle and smashes it over my dad's head. So my dad just starts fucking nailing this dude, right? Just just right hook, left hook. Just obliterating this guy in his dreams. And then it's an all out brawl because my dad just picked a fight with a bunch of bikers. My dad started a fucking bar fight with a biker gang. 
so my dad's just fucking taking dudes out left and right, and he like breaks a pool cue over some dude's head, knocks them clean out, and he's just, he's just dropping them. And eventually, the Man. biggest of them gets my dad in a fucking like neck lock, and my dad starts suffocating, and my mom just runs up behind the dude and punches him square in the back of the fucking skull. Oh my God. <laughs> And then he lets go of my dad. And then they're like, we're going to kill you. And then um, the fucking the bouncer was like, straight up, no, get the hell out of here. Not even. So that's the time my mom and dad double teamed an entire bar of bikers. That That sounds. Some guy uh, head canceled your dad's smash attack. (laughs) See, um, with with the story context, that last part made sense. Uh, but you just said that was the story of when uh, my mom and dad double teamed an entire group of bikers. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's the time they fought them. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. It's like, maybe, um, maybe not. There's more, but that's the only one I'm prepared to tell because I know the details. I don't know the, any of the other ones. Like, uh, he fought in bar again. <laughs> So, have either of you had, uh, running back to the soda, prestige that I've earned, uh, the most recent seasonal Halloween Mountain Dew? No. Yeah, you made me try it. I'm not. Um, so, it, so Mountain Dew every year for Halloween, starting last year, they put out a can of soda with a Scooby-Doo ghost on the front of it. It's always the same giggling green ghost every time. Uh, standing in front of them, and it's called uh, a voodoo. And yeah. It's always a mystery flavor, and they always insist on picking a candy and making it way too fucking sweet. Yep. Um, and I thought this year's was some kind of apple, but it was actually just fruit candy mix, which is the cheapest way of saying. We couldn't decide, so we just stuck some shit in there. Um, but I've noticed this very distinct problem where Mountain Dew keeps walking out and going, Hey guys, have you tried our seasonal flavor? It's sugar flavor. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, well, not get instant diabetes from one can of your seasonal drink. On the topic um on the on the topic of seasonal drinks. Sprite cranberry. Want to buy cranberry? The answer is clear. Uh, yeah, I'm getting, my, I'm getting my 12 packs of Crush ready to defend myself. Um, I love spike cranberry. I Holy cannot shit. agree. I don't like cranberries. I wish they would put out. I wish they would put out more than one seasonal flavor. Because yeah. everyone is always like, all right, guys, seasonal flavors out. And then I go, oh, sweet, what have we got? Uh, cranberry, 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 and cranberry. Sick! Like, right. I want an evergreen flavored soda. I want to drink a fucking tree. Yeah, can, Del- I, get, uh, can I get just like... Ra- can I get deer flavored Mountain Dew, please? Can I, can I get 30-year-old Christmas decorations we found in the <laughs> attic flavored? <laughs> Coca-Cola releases yeah, a new flavor of soda that's just Little Dust. Debbie Christmas tree cakes, and that's it. Ooh. It's uh, it's got real the the old man the old decoration soda has real pieces of tinsel in it. Yeah, and like shattered ornaments that you just can't fucking recognize, of like old orbs that were glass and then now are glass powder in the bottom of a box. It's um. It's got that delicious taste of the the one gift that your grandma made for you for Christmas, but she hand painted it so it always tastes and smells distinctly of fresh like lead based paint. Yeah, and like a uh, like a family ornament made out of popsicle sticks and um, craft paper that your like <laughs> second very racist cousin Randy made in the third grade. And it somehow ended up in your family's box, and you're just like, fucking Randy, 1986? What the fuck? Why is this in here? <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, it's got the distinct flavor of stale popcorn that you, like, string up on the needle. And just fucking Man. huge amounts of nicotine. <laughs> yeah, it's got the embedded smell of, of cigarettes. Every, every bit of it. 
It's the con mm. it's the same consistency you were talking about earlier. Same exact consistency. Sometimes I remember the mouthfeel of that and almost want to vomit. It's just so oh, fucking gross. I don't even know the mouthfeel and it makes me want to vomit. Bad. It's, it's like, like all right, Connor, imagine imagine drinking your uh drinking your drink, but in it is just like a combination of straight sand and the like burnt part of every dinner you've ever had. That's the taste. That is the, the, the taste. The mouthfeel of the one that of the time that it happened to me. Um Imagine egg yolk if it couldn't pop. Yeah, it's like a fucking whoopee cushion full of jello. Yeah, an egg yolk if it couldn't pop. That's what it felt like. But oh. it was too... <laughs> but it was too big to be swallowed in one go, so I had to chew it. Oh. I can taste the nicotine. I actually can't. I can taste the nicotine from oh, it's story. so bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I'm glad we came back to this. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I can. I can, Wow, that was. Uh, uh. Okay. So, recently I've been getting Mexican soda because I really like apple flavored soda. Mexican soda is so fucking good. Hold like that shit off. slept on. Uh, guy's mom got me sangria soda. Yeah. This shit tastes exactly like that time I inhaled a marker for 15 seconds without stopping. I am not joking. It is the taste of Sharpie. Alcohol? Just fucking isopropyl alcohol, the drink? Yeah, it tastes exactly like chugging, rubbing out. You ever have, like, the, the uh, Humex? Humex? No. <laughs> Please. J-U-M-E-X? It's, like, fruit-flavored drink. It's not. It's not like oh, carbonated or anything. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, get, they're uh, so I good. Get the, I get the strawberry banana, and the that, that one's it's good. Like water. Oh, but what's better is the pineapple one. It's like basically oh, just dude. pineapple juice. It's so fucking good, and they're fifty three cents or fifty four cents at Food Lion. If you've got oh, a Food Lion, they're like a buck a piece. Oh, is it that drink you tried to get me? Lowest and then... tax. <laughs> and my mom drank it. Yeah. <laughs> They um, are genuinely the best alternative to soda. That's a fact. They're 53 cents a piece. You buy a shit ton of them. But yeah, this this is... You know the thing we used to do where we used to do the joke? We, like, rub hand sanitizer together and then take a big whiff and, like, yeah. cry? This tastes like the smell of whiffing the hand sanitizer. Like, when uh, you smell how hard it comes into your mouth, that is what this tastes like. I want you to save some of that for me so I can try it. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, get down here. <laughs> we can drink it while we're playing Bakugan. Oh my god. Meaner. Get us real ready to go. Moner. Uh, Moner. Um, which is a combination of all three of our names. It's Moner. And he is our Bakugan <laughs> the video game protagonist. He, he is also our Fallout 3 protagonist. A stark juxtaposition, to be sure. Yes. Yeah. Facts. Um, you know his personality is the same either way. So, but. here's a little teaser trailer for what may or may not. We're still, it's in the works. We're still talking about it, but it's a good idea. So, we have to build on it. On me and Maxwell's other channel, maybe possibly if you want to, water taste test. Yeah, okay. So, that's a thing that um, Guy's mom has been like trying to like bully me into doing. She's like, I'm going to get you to drink a bunch of different water. Because I don't like water. I, it, you can make it whatever you want, but unless it's flavored, I don't want it. So, like, what do you think of Propel? I, like, Gatorade's flavored water. It's flavored, so fair, I'm cool with it. I don't like the way water to be fair, tastes. I'll drink water if there is nothing else. But, like, unless I directly dislike something, I'm picking it over the water. Yep. Um, I used to try to flavor my water. Um, oh, but I made the mistake on multiple occasions of getting the energized water uh, sink oh, yeah. flavor singles, and they give you—they gave me such a fucking headache 
This yep. is, this is uh, I can't say that because our, our parents will hear it. Uh, so after the podcast, um, but when I would perform certain stressful actions, my fucking head would feel like I was about to real ass <laughs> die. Like I would just instantly <laughs> collapse. <laughs> I know what you mean, but my headcanon is that you're shitting so hard you're about to die. When I go to take a real dump, I just black out on the toilet. You know the, uh, the meme of the guy riding the roller coaster? It's that. I like, I start going and I just, and then the need to poop, I sit back up and I start going and I just go, Dude, dude, my head went to someone someone who has like a really small bathroom and is shitting and they collapse and face plant into their bathtub. <laughs> yeah, every I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm getting to go and then I just fall over smack I was thinking my more like <laughs> like guys bathroom how like the front wall is like weirdly close to the toilet. Yeah. So you're just sitting there and you're like boom and you slam your head into the fucking wall. <laughs> God, that's um, so good. God jeez, dude. Uh. Oh, I gotta have a gotta have like a real emotional relapse from Wow. Just, um, Emotional relapse from shitting till I black out. Oh yeah, wait, I have. Till I collapse oh. three times. Oh my gosh, I have a I have a <laughs> Michelle quote this week. Ah oh, man, what it's gonna be? Drum roll while you get a pull up. She said, "If you can, you must." So I she can said. shit, so I will shit. That's why I must pass out. <laughs> I can shit, so I must pass out. You know what, though, Maxwell? I can eat the pumpkin seeds. So I'm gonna eat the pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna eat the pumpkin seeds, throw up. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> you can't do that while I'm eating sharp objects. So, so. the joke is, is... God, Sean, can you explain the joke? I just had a brain fart. I just had a so brain had liquid fart. diarrhea. So, oh fuck, I don't remember what, like, the origin of the joke was. It was like, the pu 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 you know, like, when you, I was like, we were like, mocking Guy? No, it, I don't think Guy was there. I think it was me. Uh, no, Guy was there. Guy had just gotten home. Yeah, Guy had just gotten home. Whatever, we were mocking somebody, and the joke is that when anyone said anything, we would follow it up with... Uh... Oh shit, it was a- I was making a pun. Oh yeah! Uh, and the... I don't remember what the word was, it was something Mom Edwards likes. But it, was like a, it, was, it was like a pasta. Fettuccine. Rigatoni? No. Pastina. No, Pastina was the thing I wanted. It's, it, it, it sounds like I have to, or like I'm gonna, something like that. What? She's <laughs> in the other room. All right, go, go. We'll, we'll cover for you. Yeah, cover for me. We're going to cover for you. Risotto. You what do you think it is? Risotto. Rig I, I don't know. It's a pasta. Rigatoni. Is that I a pasta? That. Oh, you said that already? Yeah. Um, it's not arugula. ravioli. Arugula. No, arugula Roll is up. not a pasta. Just like, it's, like just it's like not a, a cheese. Now. Arugula cheese and arugula pasta with a little bit Look, of actual arugula. You can arugula. make fun of me all you want. I thought that arugula was a cheese. It sounds like a cheese. Sorry. I don't like water. I don't like lettuce. I don't know what the lettuce is. I know arugula now. Iceberg. Oh, baby, I remembered. What was it? It was because Maxwell, it was because a guy brought the fucking Philly cheesesteak pizza back, and mom said she loves ricotta. And I said ricotta, more like ricotta throw up. <laughs> but Maxwell didn't realize that it was a pun on I gotta throw up. So he thought the joke was just, the joke was just throw up. Yeah, I thought so the joke was say I something, throw up. <laughs> So and now, I, every oh. time Connor is around, we hit him with throw up. I just want to. I want to put some more of this lighter fluid in my mouth. I just want to show you guys. <laughs> Fuck. 
the socks might. The taste. I put it up to my nose. The my socks, socks the have my face on them. That's me. <laughs> wow. Very visual joke. Not very friendly to the podcast listeners, Maxwell. Yeah, it's it oh. socks with his Check face. Check out on our it. YouTube at the timestamp that is right now, and then you will see my socks that have my face on them. Crazy. Dude, Sean just head. fucking died. I just died. It just killed me in Concussion an instant. grenade. He just got flash banged in the <laughs> nose. Dude, I walked into... A... There is Can some I tell story. the story about my dad getting flash banged on the podcast? Go ahead. Is this... Is... Is this... Is this the stuff they made the Geneva Convention over? I found it. I have found Agent Orange. Mustard gas. <laughs> Yes, you can tell the story of your dad getting wow. flashbang. Story time, I Maxwell. My, my Sean got hurt. whiplash, so my dad was just showering, and then and then his fucking back. So there was a drug bust happening. Can we say drug bust? Drug bust happening yes. at my dad's ap- apartment, and they got the wrong apartment number. So they fucking battering rammed my dad's back door in. So my dad, like, he's like, oh. He gets out of the shower, puts a towel around his waist, gets into the hallway that is in line with the back door. And then they, my dad's standing in the hallway. They fucking roll in a flashbang. And, and it gets like three feet away from my dad. And my dad just gets real ass fucking flashbanged right then and there. So my dad like comes to... And like the the, the the guy like he's like where where the fuck are the drugs? And he's like get on my dad. And my dad's like disoriented because he just got real ass flash banged in his own home. And then he like he like smacks my dad with the gun that he had. He was like where's the where where are the drugs? And then fucking dude comes in through the battering ram door and just goes, hey guy, uh, wrong house. And then they leave. Did they get the guy, the actual guy? Yeah, I think so. They left their battering ram. <laughs> See, here's I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine that guy got away with the uh, got away from the SWAT team. Well, here's yeah. the thing: if you hear an entire thing, be- like what was it? Blow? Like, oh shit, dude! Kevin just got flashbang. Let's uh, let's, let's maybe let's leave. <laughs> Didn't they leave the flashbang at the house? And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They left, back. they left. They left the flashbang in the battering ram. I mean, I figure the flashbang, probably no need to recover that. It fucking blew up. Yeah. I feel like your dad should just, like, kept it. No, I took him to the, to the police station. They are like, you got that battering ram? <laughs> but that was like, yeah. I do still. You know, It's when really you... funny. You can go on, like, eBay and Craigslist and shit, and there's so many people selling battering rams from getting raided. And it's. I think it's just, like, fucking protocol. They're like, yeah, we'll leave it. How much? Dude, what are the what are the what are the odds we buy a battering ram off Craigslist? What are we gonna use? We already have one. His name's Connor. <laughs> you grab his arms, I'll grab his legs, and I, we'll just I, start running. Yeah, I throw that on my skull real quick, and we're good. I just think that'd be so funny to own a battering ram that was like in a part of somebody getting raided. So right, hear me out. Can we use Connor as a battering ram, or will we literally kill him in the act? Well, if I wear my <laughs> helmet, I should be fine. Because you've all, yeah, well, you know, tell that to the brain cells that ain't up there anymore. Buddy. Well, my helmet was coming off. That was the issue. Do you know what's really cool about the helmet? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Sports time with Connor. Oh my gosh. Look at that transition. Hold on. Let's get a round of applause for that transition. It's silk me. Actually, Slow. silky smooth. Let me get into my sports time. It has been quite a week in the realm of sports, kind of, sorta. Um, sports Center, as we talked about way earlier in the podcast, is now covering Star Wars stuff. Why? I don't know. Um, the pa- does, does Disney own them? Maybe. I think Disney might own one of the sports companies, actually. I think they own ESPN. I'm almost certain. I'm almost certain they own ESPN. Pretty sure. Um, the 
The Rams and Patriots are playing right now. It's 17-3 to as we speak. Rams are up. Um, oh, damn. Yeah. That's like a, that's like a two, that's like a two score lead, isn't it? Yeah. How far into the game is it? Third quarter. It's not looking up. Yo, that's not good. Yeah, it's not looking up. Um, it's just, it's been, a, for the NFL, it hasn't been that crazy. For the NBA, it's been a little, a little wacky, but. Let me let me get that up, cause we have a bunch of trades. Um, Dwayne Wade's making some news. Uh, a few weeks ago, I didn't, I never touched on this. Um, all three of the Denver quarterback, uh, all three of their quarterbacks on the Broncos, uh, got exposed to COVID. So their response was, you know what, we're gonna play anyway with no quarterback. What? <laughs> And so they said, hey, wide receiver who's never played in an NFL game, come on up. You're playing quarterback. quarterback. Starting. You're starting quarterback this week. You've never. Imagine having never played a game and not even being in the position and then walk up and be like, hey, guess what? You're starting quarterback now. Hop on, bud. Yeah. Like, I think I shit my pants. Oh, I definitely would. Preemptively black out, hit my head on the sink. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, new uniforms are coming out for teams in the NBA. Like, look at these; they're kind of buttery. Do they? Are they different? Yeah, they're kind of nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Chris Paul um, on the fucking <laughs> Suns. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in the world of sports. Gordon Hayward's on the Hornets, but that's not really big news. Russell Westbrook is going to wear number four on the Wizards, so we're moving away the from Cowboys number zero. Got, the Cowboys got publicly shit on at a gaming convention. The Cowboys get publicly shit on at literally <laughs> everything ever. Every public thing that their name can be brought up it does, and they get, like, absolutely demolished. But um, I think that's a bit in, in cult classic TV show, King of the Hill. Um, Hank really likes the Cowboys yeah. and the Texans, but they're just absolutely fucking dog shit. Yeah. Last year, we were, we were okay. This year, not not good. Our whole division, no one has a winning record. Um, To be fair... Uh, the our high school um, is super notorious uh, for being incapable of winning like a single fucking game. Yeah. I think I think in my four years I have heard of them winning a single game. What is he doing? Good question. Uh, <laughs> He's just standing there. <laughs> Blair witching us, I think. You can come back, buddy. And that has been Sports Time with Connor. <laughs> okay, I actually have a story uh, that happened today. And actually, no one's heard this yet. So this is going to be new for both of you. So this guy comes into my work today. And he's in my section. And so I'm I'm his waiter. That guy was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. No, it was not. <laughs> Boy, that guy that, was that would be cool. Carson pretending to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It was, no, so it was just some random guy I've never met in my life. I go back, and I'm, like, getting his drinks. I bring out his food, and he goes, hey, uh, you staying out of trouble? And I went, yeah. He went, how are Guy and Anna doing? I went, I was, like, they're, they're doing okay. And then he was, like, I went and got, I was like, you need more water? And he said, yeah. So I went and got him water and brought it back. And I was like, okay. And then he went, how are Alexander and uh, Ronan doing? When's the last time you talked to them? I was like, how the fuck do you know them even? How? And he name dropped my whole family. And sure enough, Did you... Aunt Amy was feeding him information the whole time to freak me out. 
<laughs> oh man. And I'm not going to see. This is the thing, though. I'm not going to get into detail, but what my dad does for work, um, I was a little nervous that this dude was um, name dropping my whole family. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I was she got really you, hoping dude. you were gonna be like, I went and I, I went back and I got water, and when I came back, he was gone. I realized that he was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I went to go get him water, and I came back, and it was me, but twenty years older. No, I but he was like, I came back, and I realized he was like, it was you... just Maxwell in a hat sitting on Sean's shoulders. He said, <laughs> "Are you scratching your head yet?" And I went, "Yes." who are you and he was like your aunt's feeding me information and then she said call him mountain man and i went back i was like i'm not gonna call you this but this is what she said oh it was just it was uh dustin yes it was and i had never met him in my life all right that's a bit of a local story for all you people who um exist in another country um so back to just the jokes there's sean in a circle sean in a circle and sean in a circle A good joke for all the people watching on Spotify. Because <laughs> you can... I feel like they should do that at some point. Video Spotify. Video Spotify. Um, so Spotify recently put out there, you know, Hey, it's 2020! You didn't die! Uh, and they were like, Alright, here's your best songs of 2020. And I was like, alright, so there's there's your, your playlist of 2020 songs that is not accurate. It is not even close to accurate. Half of those songs are not even on my liked songs list. Um, then there's one that's like missed hits of the decade. Uh, and I'll tell you what, missed hits of the decade can just firmly go fuck itself. I don't have any interest in listening to the missed hits. What are missed uh, hits? Uh, things that were popular this year that I personally didn't listen to. Um, all of them. Uh, because... I don't fucking like wow. Spotify's recommendations for music. Um, and then the third one is like, it plays a song and then gives you an interview about the song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But do you think I'm booting up Spotify to listen to the, like, review for Dire Straits uh, Money for Nothing from... The early 80s? It's been 40 years, mate. I don't fucking care. I really like... Um, fucking, I'll be listening to Spotify, and they're like, Oh shit, dude, your place list is over. Here's some music we think you'd really like. Yeah. And it's like... I'm like... What the fuck? It's always like just completely off the wall shit that it's like, I wouldn't listen to this. This has nothing to do with any of the music in this playlist. So what the fuck is this? Yeah, my it's... playlist ends and I'm like, uh, I don't listen to baby metal. Thanks, though. I, I'm doing it's, my Spotify wrapped and it said, can you guess what the top, your top <clears throat> podcast of the year was? And of course, guess what popped up? Us. The dead oh, boys and girls. It's like if I wear nothing but like boots. And then, like, my shoe wrap-up of the year is like, here's some footwear we think you'd like. Jordans. Sandals. It's like, high no, heels. I don't... Yeah, fucking high heels. High heel sandals. That's what's up. Yucky. Here's your clothing wrap-up of the year. Tutus. Yeah. Clock Shorts. Uh, grandma's ash urn. Dirty sock, your cat snuck under the couch, and now that you're moving out, uh, six years after that ca that sock was put there, the sock is literally powder. It is a powder oh, sock. Oh you remember when I did this, Maxwell? You remember when I did this Spotify rap the first time, and it was like, "Thanks for listening to us f f this year for 67 months," and I went, ah. "Yeah, yeah, dude." There it is. There it is. 67 months this year. Hold on, wait. It's going to pop up. It's going to pop up. Let me wait for it. I have to wait because it's like an Instagram story type thing. Hold on, wait. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's going to flash past this screen. See, look, Jack Harlow's at the top. You already know who it is. Look, there he is. Oh, I have to wait. Jack Harlow, my baby boy. Here it it's is. A good, it's a good thing Thanks. Been using Spotify Thanks for, for, for spending all 67 months of, of the Christmas season. 
Thanks for spending all 67 months with us. I appreciate it. But any oh, oh. But anyways, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe what? it? What? But we gotta start wrapping up. Dang, this Dude. is back way more than it did. But yeah. Dude. Dude. Dude? Dude? Ow, I, I stomped my toe. Oh, Alright, yeah, fuck. hurry up. Wrap it up so we can get back to Bakugan. Um, so, if you're... Thank you for listening on Spotify or wherever you're listening to us on words. But we also have a YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, videos and That's such. That's the only place where you could see what I do during Sports Time with Connor. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't know what's happening during we, Sports Time with Connor. And we also have... A TikTok and an Instagram. Why are you so low? Ready for the Twitter account. I'm writing solo. We're getting... Okay. Hold on. If, if Maxwell's low, I'll be high. But Sean, where I'll can people... Where can people find no, you? That's Dion's um, job. Uh, you got a fair point. Uh, you can find me at... Uh, psycho underscore street twitch.tv forward slash uh, spelt with an I because you know. I made my account when I was 12. Oh my gosh. And you can find us every week wherever you want. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> Headphones. that's why I didn't wear them. Can we cut the episode on that yell, please? Can I make a formal request for us to when in, in editing just end it there? I can't just end it there. We haven't said bye yet. <laughs> I know. I think that'd be funny. Can I make a formal request to leave all of this in and then stop and just don't <laughs> say fuck? Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Uh, bye. bye. Thanks for listening. <laughs>